hi guys in today's video i would like to show you how you can use multiple ultrasonic uh, ranging or distance sensors at the same time uh, technically you need to use them and measure distance one by one otherwise they would interact with each other and all you need is one stm board uh, this uh, logic level uh, converter and a bunch of these uh, ultrasonic sensors and don't forget to uh, resolder this 1.5k resistor like this so this way you will be able to enable and disable USB communication at will so what I do basically I just uh, measure the distance one by one and uh, plot it into this uh, console, into this terminal so as you can see when I cover these sensors one by one you can see that the distance is measured and it technically looks like a bunch of wires when I pick it up let me just switch the view so this is basically it so it's better to see it on on a wiring diagram not like this so when I switch the view back you can see that now I'm measuring the distance with this one so that's basically it for this demo so let me explain how this sensor actually works it uses 5 volt logic and 5 volt uh, power supply so that's why I need this uh, logic level converter because this STM board uses 3.3 volt logic and when it comes to this uh, sensor it uh, has only two pins to operate the first one is uh, its input uh, it's a trigger where you need to generate at least 10 microsecond pulse and then it, uh, it's gonna generate this uh, ultrasonic burst automatically and uh, as a response it's gonna give you this uh, proportional uh, pulse uh, which is proportional to the uh, time the ultrasonic wave traveled to the target and back so all you need to do is to uh, watch and measure the time of this pulse and that's gonna give you the distance uh, that was between the sensor and uh, the obstacle so you know, it's all about a calculation so when it comes to this calculation uh, I assume that uh, the speed of sound is 344 meters per second and uh, this speed of sound varies uh, based on the temperature, on the pressure, on the humidity uh, also it can vary based on the weather and altitude uh, that affects uh, those factors but uh, I assume that this is uh, my constant and it takes 29 microsecond uh, for the sound to travel just one centimeter and uh, this sound wave always goes from the sensor to the obstacle it bounces back so it takes twice that time to uh, travel technically uh, one centimeter so uh, every 58 microseconds is uh, the travel of the sound wave one way and back therefore uh, when you try to measure the echo pulse you can assume that each 58 microseconds uh, is one centimeter of the distance so it's as simple as that 
when it comes to this uh, pinout configuration I use this uh, USB enable pin this PB3 to enable uh, this USB virtual com port communication and uh, I have configured a bunch of these pins to be uh, uh, as uh, output uh, these triggers are technically outputs and uh, these echo pins are inputs and uh, technically on this uh, sensor it is the opposite uh, the trigger is uh, the input and uh, echo pin is the output uh, when it comes to this STM clock uh, configuration I have set it up uh, basically to maximum possible frequency and uh, these timer clocks are set up to 72 megahertz and when it comes to timer 2 configuration I wanted to set up set it up to that uh, 58 microsecond period therefore I uh, divided this 72 megahertz by the factor of 72 and uh, set up the period to uh, basically 58 so uh, this counter period is set to uh, 57 because uh, over here you need to uh, get that calculated value minus 1 it is it goes from 0 to 57 therefore uh, it is 58 so this is uh, basically it so uh, each interrupt uh, of this timer means that uh, 58 uh, microsecond period has passed so it's as simple as that when it comes to this code uh, over here I just edit my library and down here it's also quite simple uh, I wait 500 milliseconds and then I enable the USB virtual com port communication over here I have just a uh, buffer for the message and a buffer for the number to convert and uh, this array of three distances and uh, every second when you sum up these two delays every second I measure uh, the distance and uh, then I send it uh, via virtual com port to computer and over here here's the magic happening so uh, I just increment the sensor I want to uh, measure and over here I have this uh, quite seemingly simple looking uh, function where you pass uh, the trigger port uh, the pin of the port and also the echo port and the echo pin so and then uh, you get these numbers uh, you add them into one message and then you send it so let me explain uh, what this um, function is about so this is what it looks like I have created over here uh, the array uh, pointer array uh, for the trigger ports and also the same type of array for echo ports and uh, these arrays for the pins are just uh, unsigned integers so in fact uh, these are simple numeric values and uh, when I pass uh, those arguments over here uh, I just tell which pin needs to be triggered and uh, which pin uh, needs to be listened to so it's uh, quite simple but uh, just to be sure I disable the cystic it is it also causes an interrupt and I don't want to uh, interrupt uh, caused by multiple timers 
So that's why uh, during the measurement I disable that C-stick and in the end uh, I just uh, enable it back again. And when this C-stick is disabled, then I start this uh, 58 microsecond timer. Then I set uh, this uh, trigger pin to 1. Then I zero out uh, this trigger time, which is a, vari a variable inside this uh, timer too. So I just uh, wait a while uh, just to generate that uh, short trigger pulse. So here are here I just wait it to pass, and then I just uh, set uh, the trigger. Uh, logic level back to zero and here I just wait uh, until the value is uh, yeah, until it jumps to logical one and when it does I clear the distance and uh, here I just wait until it is low again because uh, over here over here it is at first uh, logical 0, then it jumps to logical 1. So after it jumps to logical 1, I just uh, skip out of this while loop. Then I zero out this distance variable and then uh, I wait uh, until this uh, until this uh, drops uh, from logical 1 to logical 0 and afterwards I just stop the timer and enable the cystic. So over here uh, I just uh, increment this distance value which is uh, technically centimeter. So uh, over here if every 58 microseconds uh, this variable is incremented and uh, if you remember this sensor uh, it is a variable for that index and it is incremented in this uh, for loop so I just wait uh, until this, you know, this is uh, set to uh, 1 and uh, if it is not set to 1, I just don't increment it anymore or if it takes too long. These sensors can measure up to 4 meters, so more than that uh, it is pointless. So when I get this uh, 5 meter distance, I know that the measurement uh, is basically useless and not, nothing was actually measured. So that's uh, basically it. It's not that complicated. And you can uh, expand this uh, to as many uh, ultrasonic sensors uh, as you want. So that's basically it. And that's uh, what you see over here. I just sent uh, this uh, message first measuring distances and uh, then I just measure a distance then I convert it to the numeric value which is this value then I add a centimeter and the new line so this is what you actually see so one message is this line and uh, the other message uh, are these three lines so everything is also in this readme over here uh, on my github. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Bye.